Kid, hey guys, and welcome to me lab. This is our 13th episode in our Bogenstein 3D tutorial series, which is pretty awesome. And in this one, what we're going to be doing is adding scores. So we're going to update our enemies, our global script, and our heads up display. Let's uh, have a look at exactly what we're getting up to in our WWSS. Well, in our last lesson, we added an additional level and then uh, we transitioned to it, um, also adding that level to our HUD. In this, the 13th episode, we're going to be adding scores to our game. Why? Well, so we can track achievement, which makes the game more engaging. You will need to be able to understand and apply how to work with scripts and canvas layers. Success today will look like when you kill an enemy, it will add to your score, which will then be displayed on the heads up display. All right, let's just dive in. So get Godot open, get the project open, and let's go into our global script first. So I'm gonna go up and click on our script heading, and then I'm gonna find our global script. And that's got a couple of our variables in it to start with. So I wanna add a new variable in here called var player level and we will set it oops player level var player score and we'll set it equal equal to zero just like that that's all i think i want to do actually in our uh global script pretty full on isn't it all right um that's our global sorted well at least to start with next thing i think we should do is jump into our guard script so let's click on our guard I reckon we come down to our function, our dying function. Let's add in a little bit of code here. So what we want to do, we, we've just created a variable, right? Which is going to store our player's score in it, but that's all it does. It just holds that information. We need to be able to edit that information at different times. And the main way we're going to add to our score is when we kill an enemy. So if we come to our die function on our guard and create a little bit of space, we can then say global dot player ugh, player score and then we might say plus equals 100 for example so we want to give 100 points every time we kill a guard whatever you can vary that but all we're doing there is we're just saying when our guard dies we want to access the global variable called player score and add 100 to whatever the score is so that's what's happening there let's uh, save that now i think we should jump into our ui scene because there's a few things we'll have to do in there as well so i'm going to click on my ui tab at the top so we get that scene brought up and it also automatically gives me the ui script generally when you do that and this is it at the moment now i did notice that we actually oh, i actually missed something i need to add in another line here anyway which was update um, level label because we never actually did that and it meant that when we first started the game um, it showed level as just being blank whereas now that'll put a one in there all right that's that bit done we need to copy just like we've done before we're going to copy a couple of these labels over here and then we'll copy some of their functions and just edit them so we're saving a bit of time so I think we might just keep working with say the level one so let's duplicate our level label and let's duplicate, I think it would be label four. Let me just have a look at the 2D. So we've duplicated our level label, which is there now. Um, so then label four, we wanna duplicate that as well. So I'm gonna duplicate label four. So now let's drag that over. So we're sort of keeping that same consistency um, with how we're trying to line these up. And obviously I'm not doing a brilliant job of these, right? So you might need to use a bit more uh, of your own skill to get everything lined up. We'll call this one score. Let's move that over let's actually change the word level to score as well so to do that you click on it click over it here in your inspector window and you should be able to change that um, need to set up the guides for the actual score itself there we go save that uh, and now let's go and have a look at that script again so we've updated level label in there we need to do a few more things so what we might do we'll keep working with the level stuff so i'm going to grab this function here i'm going to copy it and I am just gonna, oops, paste it in again like that. But here, instead of update level label, we're gonna update our score label. Instead of uh, level, this will be score. And instead of global current level, it will be global player score, right? Now we need to also come up here and add it in up here, which is what we forgot to do last time. Update um, score label like that, save that. So now we've got a, uh, new function we've created, which is for handling our score uh, label. We've added in the logic we need to up there. Um, everything's named correctly over there as well. Let's have another look in our 2D scene just to make sure that looks the way we want it to look. Yeah, I think that's pretty much right. So 
Um, I think what we probably want to do now is um, test it because I think that's really all the little errors that I was aware of plus what we need to do to add that score in. So let's save what we got. Let's just jump in and see if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll fix it, right? So I click on our play button. I've got to remember what buttons I use here. All right, so we can see our level is one. We can see our score just went up to 100. Um, our dudes still die. Let's make sure we can still transition and we keep those um, scores and things. Oh, I broke it. All right, what have I done there? So get tree change scene at level two dot scene. Oh, uh, level 2.tsn invalid call non-existent function change scene global.current level equals 2 get tree scene un momento por favor I have conquered my problems I had for some reason just left off the last half of that <laughs> I just had change scene we needed to add to file but now it works so let's save what we've got uh, hit our play button make sure that's all fine let's kill some Nazis one down two down we got our score that added up 200 points our level is one make sure we can still add ammo we can make sure we can still walk into here we can excellent and everything persists there we go guys that's it let's have a look at our uh, must may might so you know exactly what you need to do to succeed today um, and then our next lesson will be a little bit more exciting and a bit longer too this one was pretty quick so what you must get done this lesson is update the enemy script to give a score when killed. You need to update the global script to handle scores and you need to update the HUD to display our score. What you may like to do is continue making more detailed and difficult levels and connecting them all up like we did in our last lesson. And what you might want to start thinking about is weapon collectibles because that's what we're going to be doing next. Well, your very basic game is expanding every week. You now have pretty much a fully functional game. We just got little bits and pieces to add around the edges to make it even better. Next time, we will get onto our weapon collectibles. How do we upgrade from the knife to the minigun? That's what we'll be looking at. And the quote I'd like to leave you with is from Epictetus, and it is, any person capable of angering you becomes your master. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.